Hello there, welcome back. So the Galaxy S22 Ultra is shaping up to be one of the best all-round phones of 2022. It's been leaked a bunch of times already, but still there are new leaks coming every other day. The most interesting of the bunch is the new S Pen. It will reportedly have an input delay of only 2.8 milliseconds. That's a significant reduction from the 9 millisecond latency on the Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra, meaning roughly a 3 times improvement over the Note 20 Ultra's S Pen. This will result in an instantaneous writing. There might also be some new gestures in the pipeline, but more about that in future videos. Recently, there were leaks circulating that Samsung is ready to return to 45W charging in the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Roland Quant says that Samsung is working on a new power brick with a model number EP-T4510 that matches with the specs, although it seems it will be sold separately rather than included in an S22 Ultra box. Another major upgrade can be seen in the camera department. While it's been leaked before that the camera sensors will remain the same as S21 Ultra, now we have some more info on how it's gonna differ from previous series. In addition to being a 108MP camera, it will feature 12-bit HDR technology and this will help the S22 Ultra produce videos with a better color range and dynamic brightness than its predecessor. Just to give you some idea, the camera would be capable of shooting videos with up to 68 billion colors, though this feature will only be available when recording at 4K and not at 8K. Now to display these amazing colors, it needs a better display. And who better than Samsung to use a display that suits its ultra flagship phone. While we are aware of certain aspects of the display like it's expected to have a 120Hz AMOLED screen, we don't know most of the stuff. Still, it's believed to get some top of the line display specs, so be ready for that. The phone is also rumored to start at low base memory capacity, making it accessible at lower price point. About processor, I already talked about that in our previous S22 Ultra video. In short, it will get Exynos 2200 or Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 depending on the region. And both are powerful enough to support this new beast. So at this point, there's not much else to know about the phone, but we are sure the leaks will continue rolling until Samsung launches this device next month. So that's it, thank you for watching, hope to catch you in the next one. Peace out.